Are you struggling with serious input lag and FPS drops to 80 or 90? If you watch this video till the very end and actually follow the steps I outline, I promise your apps will go back up to maximum, pretty much no matter what graphics card you have. Plus, your delay will be so minimal. If you are new on this channel please make sure to subscribe my channel, so without wasting the time let's dive into video. The first step is to understand why you have so much delay and why your frames keep dropping. It's because there's a lot of strain on your CPU that you're likely unaware. Search for system configuration in the search bar and click on boot advanced options. Make sure number of processors is set to the maximum available. Don't change anything else here. Press OK, then apply, and close. To speed up your network, which also reduces input delay, go to Control Panel Network and Internet. Click on your network, then Properties, and disable Internet Protocol version 6 IPvR v6. This older version is actually more optimized than IPv6 for many users. Clear temporary files regularly. Press Windows plus R, type temp into the run box, and delete all files. Do the same with temp to remove even more unnecessary files. Finally, empty your recycle bin to free up resources. So guys next step is gear up booster. I have given the link below in the description. Open up any browser, paste the link, search, and download the gear up booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days. Here you will find this kind of interface. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this Boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Now, let's move on to game mode. Search for game mode settings in the Windows search bar. When enabled, Windows optimizes your PC for gaming, but in some cases, it's better to have this off. For higher-end CPUs like Ryzen 7 or above, keeping it on is fine. For Ryzen 5 or lower, turn it off to reduce CPU strain. Head to game bar and captures as well, and disable them to avoid constant background recording. Let's remove the apps that open automatically when you start your PC. Go to taskbar and go to startup, and turn off all unnecessary apps. Even if you use an app regularly, it's better to turn it off here and open it manually later. This reduces background processes that strain your GPU, CPU, and RAM. So, over to the search bar. Search view advanced system settings. This is all about your graphics within your PC, how it does everything, performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. This is the one you want to press settings on. Most of you right now will be on it just for best appearance. All of these boxes will be ticked for most of you, which is just causing you so much input lag. This is what's going on in the background. What most of you are thinking about doing right now is it just for best performance. Even though, yes, it does say it just for best performance, this won't actually be for the complete best performance, as some of these you can still turn off. Instead, click on custom and only click the ones I have ticked. So, what I have ticked is, animations in the taskbar, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, those are the three that you want ticked. Remember, any others are just causing you unnecessary strain. Once you've clicked these three, click apply. In the next step guys download NVIDIA GeForce Experience, double tap on it. The first thing that I want to show you is, when you load up, head over to drivers and make sure you have the most optimal drivers. So as per normal, the newest one is most likely the most optimal. Head over to system performance, and this is what we're looking for, your statistics, GPU clock, GPU power, GPU temperature, all this and that. But the main thing I want to show you guys is automatic tuning. For you guys, if you've just downloaded this app, this will be off for you. Obviously, I've turned it on because I want this on. So what this is basically does is it overclocks your GPU, and you guys might be scared and worried. This app will do it completely all for you. This is from Nvidia. This is their new software that they're bringing out to gamers. And I don't want you guys missing out. So all you have to do is head over to automatic tuning, turn it on. And when I tell you, this will take such a long time. So, of course, you literally just have to stand there looking at your screen. 
but what it does GPU tuning, 60 to megahertz. So right here, it went up 62, which you completely could have done without hurting your GPU. RAM as well, plus 200 right there. It is genuinely so good. With this off, I get about 360 frames. With this on, I get for OO plus frames. Another thing, temperature target. I have it set to 79. Some people say the higher the GPU temperature, the better it performs. In my opinion, that is completely up to your GPU. As for me, the optimal place is 80. If you guys want, turn it up to 82, 83, maybe even 77. Just play around with this. Obviously, don't put it to the maximum or anything like that. Put it around here. For the fan speed, you can set it to either automatic or manual. I keep mine on automatic, but let's quickly switch to manual so you can choose your own fan speed. If the fan runs at its highest speed, your PC will stay much cooler. A cooler PC usually runs better and handles tasks with less strain. However, if I set mine to 87, it gets unbearably loud. I'm sure it'll be the same for you, so I stick to automatic, but I do recommend trying out manual mode to see what works best for you. Personally, I prefer automatic. Set the maximum voltage to zero. It's best not to change that. For the maximum power, keep it at 100% because that's the best setting. But the most important thing is to make sure automatic tuning is turned on. After you finish all this, go to graphics and find your Fortnite game. I only have a few games, but you might have to scroll down to find it. For me, it's right here. Do not press this button. Again, do not press the optimize button. This will make your PC so much worse. For example, if you optimize it, preview value recommended is saying to play our effects on high when we have it disabled. Another thing, for example, we play on performance mode. It says DX12. Boys, do not do this and do not mess with this bar as well. You don't want to press any of these. I just wanted to let you know this, as most people would go into graphics and start messing with this and make their PC so much worse. Another big one that I've just seen, anti-aliasing. We have it obviously disabled. This says to have it on NVIDIA DLS, and that is so much input delay. Ensure you enter Fortnite and, as everyone knows, adjust all settings to the lowest level except for view distance, which should be set to high. Ensure Sure you avoid pressing any of these. That wasn't an adjustment, it was simply a way for me to save you time. That's exactly what it is. After we finish this, we can shut down the Nvidia app. Guys that was today's video, I hope you like this. Make sure to subscribe my channel for more videos like this in future, peace out.